Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby, your daily call to prayer. Pray with us every day right here on the podcast and in your inbox. Learn more at morningoffering.com. Greetings, friends. Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby. Today is Monday, August 26th, and today I'd like, I'd like to talk about negate the good. But first, let's pray together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your sacred heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, for the salvation of souls, the reparation of sins, the reunion of all Christians, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So friends, we know that the spiritual treasury of the church is, is vast. It contains many things, including some very much well-tested, saint-proven divine wisdom. And one of the truths of this wisdom I want to highlight is being cautious about negating the good. And what I mean by that is oftentimes we can see someone abuse something. So perhaps maybe it's alcohol, or maybe it's the ability to speak, or perhaps it's the use of prescription drugs, or perhaps you know, fill in the blank, food, uh, whatever, fill in the blank, right? And, and so oftentimes in our fallenness, when we see that, there's, there's this recoil, and we want to negate the good. We want to take away what the person has been abusing or, or become a, a, obsessed with or has an addiction to. Then then we have to stop this. We, everything has to go. We, we want to negate the good. But that's actual spiritual, spiritual immaturity because the thing itself, the good, food, alcohol, prescription drugs, these are goods. In fact, human life needs these. These add to the joy and the experience of human life. And so we can't say, well, because one person has now become addicted to this or has be exaggerated this or you know, has abused this, therefore we have to stop. No, it has to be completely restricted. It has to be removed. No, the real challenge is moderation. So we approach it and say, okay, uh, this now can, can be used. This can still be permitted in society. This can still be uh, allowed by other people because the call is to moderation. Some might have to restrict themselves from it, especially, for example, if it's alcohol or if it's prescription drugs. They might have to say, okay, I, I can't drink alcohol. I can't take this prescription drug anymore. I have to take a different drug. Okay, the individual might have to do that. But we can't then negate the good for all of society and say that's evil. Alcohol is evil. No, no, it's a good and we can't negate the good. We have to be careful of that recoil, that we don't overreact because we see something that has caused harm, a good that has been abused. We honor the good. We use the good with moderation. Some, again, might have to abstain completely, especially if they're overcoming an addiction. But in terms of the use of the good in society, it's still good. With moderation, it can still be welcomed, and it can still contribute to the joys of life. So we have to be careful about negating the good. And those are our thoughts for today. Dear friends, I want to thank you for joining me. I encourage you to keep fighting a good fight. And remember, you can receive daily spiritual encouragement sent right to your inbox when you subscribe to The Morning Offering at morningoffering.com. God bless you. Thanks for listening today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The Morning Offering with Father Kirby is a production of Good Catholic, the media division of The Catholic Company. For more faith-filled podcasts and videos, visit goodcatholic.com.